Don't go into your AP Calculus exam if you can't solve this derivative. Now, just by looking at this problem, this is an inverse derivative problem because we see that g inverse of x is equal to f of x. And you must know that there's a different equation if we're gonna be looking for f prime of 20. So the first thing we need to know is our equation for inverse derivative. Derivative of g inverse of x is gonna be equal to one over g prime of g inverse of x. Now in this problem, our x value is gonna be 20, okay? This x value is 20 here because we're trying to find f prime of 20, and that's simply the inverse. So how do we do that? I always start by doing a coordinate system here. We know that g and g inverse have something in common. Wherever I have an x for g inverse, that's gonna be the y for g. So I'm looking for this term here and this term here, which would be the exact same thing. How do I find that? I simply set 20 equal to our original equation because this is the y and we see that three is gonna be here. Our final step now is to plug in three into our derivative, one over g prime of three, and we can find the derivative of g just by taking the derivative here. So by taking the derivative here, we end up getting g prime is equal to three x squared. We plug in three, we get 27. So our final answer is simply gonna be one over 27. Follow me for more AP Calculus tips.